Merry Christmas everybody, Mystically is here, and today I got a short but sweet pickups video for you. Seven unique titles, I'm going to show you what I got and where I got them. And you know the drill by now, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. Let's get right to it. Down. Capcom Down Fighting Collection. Right. Yeah. Go. I'm so the first game we're going to be looking at was a GameStop pickup, and it's going to be Capcom Fighting Collection. If you're able to get the game brand new, you get a download code for extra music and artwork, and also Capcom Arcade Collection too. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'm going to be looking into it. So, in the full package, you get Dark Stalkers 1 and 2, Dark Savior 1 and 2, Vampire Hunter 1 and 2, Red Earth, Cyberbot, Street Fighter, Pocket Fighter, Gym Fighter. This fighting collection is pretty bloated, but it's not a bad thing. Everyone on here is definitely fun in its own way. The difficulty is going to range from easy to hard, depending on which one you're playing and which setting you're playing on. But I think there's a setting here for everybody, if you look around. Vampire Hunter 2. 
Darkstalker's Revenge. And overall, as for the quality of the ports of these games, I don't claim to be an overall expert on the arcade versions of these games, but they seem to be fine ports to me. I didn't notice any lag, any slowdown. They look great. The music sounds great. I thought they were amazing ports. So Cyberbots is a brand new game to me. I never played this game before this collection, and I'm happy it was on there. Because this game is super cool, and it's really unique. A lot of different pilots, a lot of different mechs to choose from, the fighting styles of each are pretty unique. Lots of fun to be had here with a friend or online. Fighter 2 Turbo. So here's another game I had never played before before getting this collection. And it was fairly fun. You know, I'm not really too big on Tetris or Columns or Dr. Mario or anything like that, but you know, it was fun in its own right. If I felt like playing a different type of puzzle game, I'd definitely throw this one in. Gym Fighter Mini Mix. They even threw in Gym Fighter for you. And this game's pretty fun. It's basically a cute em up mashup when it comes to fighting games. Darkstalkers vs. Street Fighter cute em up. And it's pretty fun in its own right. I usually go to the, you know, classic Darkstalkers or Street Fighter games most of the time. But if you want to have some fun with a friend or online for a little bit, it's definitely fun for a quick playthrough. So here's one I really enjoy, and I only play the single player campaign. This is Red Earth. I never played this before getting this collection. This game is awesome. This game is beautiful, very detailed sprites. Some of the sprites are massive. I had a great time playing through this game. It would really say this collection is worth getting just for this game alone. So next up we're going to be looking at Road Rage on the PS4. And after buying this I had already got informed by Doc Johnson over at the Game Closet channel. Be sure to check him out. Link for his channel will be in the description below. That this was not a good game. And you know, I had got it for only $13. I had never played it. It kind of looked like a you know, reboot of Road Rash or something. 
and uh, this is not a good game. This is a classic case of modern gaming where it looks really good, but the gameplay and storyline is pretty much shallow and not a whole lot going on, not very well thought out or executed. So, and uh, he also informed me, Doc Johnson, over the game closet, that Road Rebellion was actually a much better sort of rehash or road rash for the modern console. So I'm going to be checking that out. If you're looking for a new road rash fix, maybe check that out. But as far as road rage, don't check it out. So next up we're going to be looking at Outrunners. I picked this up at GameSwap, it's my favorite retro game store to shop at, I've been going there for about 10 years, and I'll leave their information in the description below. Outrunners is another Yu Suzuki special, AM2, pretty much like Outrun, except two players. Either you fight against a computer, or you race against a friend. And this game's pretty sweet. I, I, I really like it. You know, I'm a big fan of AM2 Yu Suzuki games, so this is pretty much a must-have on my list. No manual on this one, but otherwise in really good condition. Umbrella Chronicles, accessing file number 249811. Alright, also a game swap. I scooped up Resident Fire Evil Umbrella Hazard. Chronicles. So the this one was one of the last games on my Resident Evil list. Guiding aside, I haven't decided if I'm going to start going for the handheld Resident Evil games. I don't think I'm going to. Condition's okay, I think it was only $15, a little roughly not the manual, but the disc is in really good condition. And uh, if you've never played the light gun games, Resident Evil light gun games for Wii, they're pretty fun, you know. I'm a big fan of light gun games, so they feel, you know, a lot different from using a gun con or, you know, playing it at the arcade, but it's definitely a fun playthrough. And it's fun to get a little extra, you know, storyline in there added to the Resident Evil lore. So I'm a big fan of the Resident Evil series, and the last game I have on my list is the Long Box Resident Evil One. I have the director's cut to play on, but I want the Long Box because that's the one I had when I was a kid, and a Resident Evil Chainsaw Controller. And my whole Resident Evil set will be complete. And when I get that, I'll be sure to make a video on it. Next up, we're going to be looking at Gauntlet 2. Got it at GameSwap. Used to see it here. Super good price. And that's one thing I love about GameSwap. If you're in the Dayton area, Ohio, make sure you check out GameSwap. They always get the best prices around. Gauntlet 2 for the NES, while you know, not a super accurate port to the arcade, an awesome fun, no doubt. One player, two player, three player, four, with a few friends on the couch. Many of hours can be lost trying to find the different keys and crack all the secrets throughout the dungeons. I always think it's amazing that even in 2022, I'm always finding affordable and cool unique titles to play on my NES. So here's another game swap pickup. 
Double Dragons 2 The Revenge on the NES. Another cheap pickup. I've had this game before. I've come and lost it like many games in the past. But when it comes to beat em ups on the NES, it's pretty close to this and Battletoads for me. These are probably the best two beat em ups on the NES, in my opinion. This game is awesome. If you've never played Double Dragons 2 before, it's it's pretty much a huge upgrade from the original. Not that the original is bad, I love the original Double Dragon. But this one's awesome. If you never checked it out before, it's still cheap. You gotta check it out. So here we got Slam City with Scotty Pippen, and I had to check this out. You know I love FMVs, and you know I love my Sega CD games. What you gonna get? Gonna get respect. What you gotta get? Gotta get respect. What you wanna get? Wanna get respect. So how do you earn? So the condition on this was pretty good, I thought. It's not perfect on the front, but it's pretty good on the back. The manual on it was super crispy. I only paid $25 for it. I didn't look it up, but I thought it was a pretty good deal. And imagine back in the day coming home with this game and finding out it is four disc. Advertised on the front, two and a half hours of full motion video action. It's pretty cool. And the controls in this game are, once you start to get you know, used to them, they're actually pretty intuitive and pretty cool for an, an FMV game. And to me, this game is worth it just for the laughs alone. You're going to be returning to it for years to come with a friend just to laugh at it for 20-30 minutes at a time. The crowd, the competitors, they all talk smack. A lot of the FMV sequences are really funny and there's a fair amount of them so they don't replay them too often. I really like FMV games on the Sega CD and this one was a must own. So those are going to be my pickups for this month. My favorite two games so far that I've checked out, Capcom Fighting Collection, Scotty Pippen Slam City. This is a great fighting collection. If you like Darkstalkers, if you like the Vampire Hunter series, you got to check this out. And Red Earth is a beautiful game and worth getting and checking out alone. Scotty Pippen Slam City, this ain't for everybody. I grew up in the 90s watching the Bulls, watching Scottie Pippen, so for only $25 CIB, I had to have this game. This is pretty cool, and it's actually a pretty cool and intuitive, interactive FMV game. Now, a lot of FMV games are not easy. The controls are not intuitive. It's hard to figure out what to do. This one's not easy, but they have a training mode where it pops up and tells you what to do, and it's still not super intuitive, but it's something. I'm looking forward to diving deeper into that. But thanks for coming along while I did my hunting and pickups for December. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. I'm Mr. Cleese. Stay safe out there.